Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. We'll continue tracking a line of severe thunderstorms essentially moving from northwest to southeast, getting ready to head towards the coastline right now. In fact, it's already improving in downtown Providence. You were hit hard just 15 minutes ago with torrential rain and some very strong wind gusts. As mentioned earlier, we have uh, reported now of about 20,000 customers without power, especially in the northern part of the state. Let's uh, take a look outside on the Doppler radar and this line very fast moving. It's racing off to the east and southeast at over 40 miles per hour right now. So it's that ribbon of red, yellow and orange extending now from uh, just south of Plymouth Mass. Already has gone through downtown Providence, now passing through Fall River, getting ready to move into New Bedford and approaching the south coast. I'll show you a camera in Newport very shortly, but the storms approaching Newport right now and already getting hit hard in North Kingstown. You can see the storms racing off now to the south and east. They've had a history of some damaging wind up to 60 miles per hour and some power outages that is certainly being verified right now uh, by National Grid. So the severe thunderstorm warning has expired for most of Rhode Island right now. We were in the red just a little while ago. Now it's been extended from Fall River, New Bedford, southeastern Massachusetts until uh, 715 this evening as these storms continue to race off to the uh, south and east ahead of a very strong moving uh, cold front. So that front off to our north and west. Notice behind the line it's dry and skies actually clear out. By 8 o'clock this evening, all of this is actually gone and offshore skies will clear out. We'll still have gusty wind, but it won't be of the magnitude of some of the winds that are occurring in some of these thunderstorms that are passing through right now. So North Kingstown and you know this picture just 20 minutes ago, the visibility was good. The, it was still kind of light. Uh, now we've got uh, increasing wind and the torrential rain that's starting to move through right now and in Newport right now with uh, the rain and the wind just starting to pick up. The storm is approaching from your north and west. When we take a look at this, took, take a look at this picture again in about 15 minutes, the visibility will be down to near zero in some of the heavier rain. So the high wind advisory for the areas in light orange continues actually until 2 o'clock in the morning. Even though the thunderstorms are long gone by 8 o'clock this evening, the winds will still be gusty. Not as strong as they are in the thunder, but still gusty anywhere between 40 and 55 miles per hour. This actually expires just after midnight at 2 o'clock in the morning. So the threat tracker remains high through the early evening hours. And then by tomorrow and Friday, much better weather. We are sunny, but a lot cooler both of those days. There's the strong cold front responsible for some of these storms behind that. The air really cools off after reaching 75 degrees uh, this afternoon. The cooler air headed our way. It'll feel more like the season come Thursday and Friday. And look at all the real estate behind the front where it's clear. That is our sunshine coming up for tomorrow and again on Friday. Uh, Delta getting better organized even though the storm has weakened to a category one with winds of uh, 85 miles per hour. Expected to regain strength now that it's moving back into the warmer waters of the Gulf of Mexico, latest from the Hurricane Center. And the forecast track is still concerning for the Gulf Coast from the Texas Louisiana border to perhaps towards the, the Florida panhandle. Some of this remnant moisture, not a storm, but some tropical moisture from whatever's left of the storm by, it wouldn't be much, may approach our area by the latter part of the weekend with some showers. We're, we're thinking more towards Columbus Day Monday, so stay tuned on that. Meanwhile, what's left of these storms should be offshore and long gone by 8 o'clock in the evening and thereafter clear skies but still windy through the midnight hours. Sunshine much cooler but nice Thursday and Friday kind of blustery for tomorrow but at least it's sunny it's dry there are no storms. Big warm up for Saturday 75 clouds increasing on Sunday some remnant moisture from Delta may impact the area Columbus Day Monday temps in the lower 60s need to be weather aware for the next roughly hour to hour and a half but they're fast moving they'll be gone by 8 o'clock. Okay. Yep. Right. Thanks Tony.